It's time for Mount Vernon Lady Rams softball on WMIX. On your radio at AM 940 and online at WMIXsports.com. Lady Rams softball is presented by the official voice of the Lady Rams, Community First Bank. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Lady Rams softball on WMIX is also sponsored in part by Ren Lake College. See how you can save thousands on your education at rlc.edu. The medicine shop of Mount Vernon. Ford Square in King City Chrysler. You can count on us. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto. Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital. Raising the bar. Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. And also by the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Sarah Staley, your country financial agent. Heartland Accounting. And by Central Christian Church. It's time to join Chris Hugo and Danny Zerwinski in the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios for Mount Vernon Lady Rams softball. Lady Rams pregame show starts now. And good afternoon for Marion County. Today's the Mount Vernon Lady Rams wrap up the regular season here on the road against the Salem Lady Wildcats. Glad to have you with us on WMIX and online at WMIXSports.com. Chris Hugo joined by Danny Zerwinski for your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Big or small Landers Collision Center's fixes. And now details of all. Premium detailing now available at Landers Collision Centers. Call any time you need them. one 888 landers That's 1-888-LANDERS. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll dissect this matchup between the Salem Lady Wildcats and the Malford and Lady Rams. This is Malford and Softball from WMI Exports. I'm Michael Stack with a look at your next round weather. Mainly cloudy and not as warm with a few showers and even a thunderstorm from the afternoon into the evening hours. This afternoon's high 73 Mostly cloudy skies late tonight, the low 61. A bit warmer with clouds mixing in with some sunshine, a shower or thunderstorm in a few spots high, 82. Saturday, very warm and humid Sunday with clouds mixing in with some sunshine high, 89. Next rad weather from WMIX, Mount Vernon, Illinois. The 2013 Dodge Avenger has no interest in blending in and neither should you. Hi, Roy Schmidt Dodge dealer at King City Chrysler in Mount Vernon. Stand out in the all-new Avenger. From its crosshair grill to ring of fire tail lamps, the Dodge Avenger takes an aggressive stance that's impossible to ignore. It's also impossible to ignore three thousand dollars in customer cash, or zero percent financing for seventy-two months. But it is what's inside that really counts. And with premium materials and soft touch surfaces, the interior of the 2013 Avenger gets you there more comfortably than ever. Plus, those incentives leave your wallet a little more comfortable as well. See our selection online at kingcitychrysler.com or visit with one of our associates at King City Chrysler Center, 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois, and find us on Facebook. You can count on us. Yes, you can. More Americans are on a move today than ever before. One of the most popular modes of transportation is the motorcycle. Motorcycles take us to our jobs, school, to the beach, and all around the country. If you're a bike rider, your Pekin Insurance Agency, Page Insurance on Crown View in Mount Vernon, wants to make sure you have the best insurance protection while you're riding. Ask about the money-saving auto cycle discount and the experienced driver discount, too. Call Page Insurance at 242-7000 today about motorcycle insurance from Pekin Insurance. This is Lady Ram Softball on W. WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Salem. Glad to have you with us from the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwetsky alongside for your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Bigger, small, Landers fixes, and now details of all. Ask about premium detailing for the life of your car at Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem. One triple eight Landers. And, of course, the Salem Lee Wildcats come in 10 and 20 on the year, just 2 and 8 on the season in the Apollo Conference. Lady Rams finished up South 7 Conference play at 4-6, and six, losing to Centralia this week. Got a win over Mascuda in extra innings yesterday. And 11-14 and 14 is their mark right now, looking to get that 12th win of the year. Well, it's the last mulligan of, of the regular season. Starts real for real, as I guess you could say, on Tuesday with that regional game against Carbondale and Heron. So this is one of those you want to get in, you want to get a win, and get some momentum as much as you can in the Heron on Tuesday. Well, of course, this is Senior Day here from Salem. Glad to have you with us from the park at the WMIX Sports Mobile Studio, driven by Ford Square, 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon, and, of course, online at FordSquare.com. Some mist, or at least a sprinkler or two, dropping out of the sky. So, but a Senior Day here from Salem, of course, here in Orlando's Collision Center's pregame show. Last time these two teams met was back on April the 22nd. 
on a Monday afternoon at the Cusimano Sports Complex. Buddy Rams took a 4-3 win in that one. But, of course, these confines have always been friendly to the Rams softball, especially when we came here, uh, was it last year? Oh, it was two years ago, I think. I don't think we were able yeah. to make the trip up here last year. But you think about the, the confines here, 204 down the lines, 210 straightaway center, and that bodes well for those who can match the ball. And it's a warm day. The ball's going to travel pretty well. It's kind of an interesting day here. You, you get the distinct feeling that there's going to be some rain or something going on here because the clouds are darkening up in center field. The sun's still out towards right field, but uh, with the humidity and the daily heating, you may end up with some sprinkles here as we've been feeling here. Of course, we're going to see what happens here today. So glad to have you. Don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. We're online, as always, with a scoreboard every night at WMIXSports.com. Beautiful day, at least in right field. Salem, of course, center and left center. Skies are kind of ominous in the, in the foreground, which I believe that to actually be to the southwest. So we'll try to keep an eye on the sky. Shouldn't be too much, too much coming this way, at least at this point. Much more expected later tonight. Of course, don't forget, graduation tomorrow at Mount Vernon. Class of 2013 will walk across the stage, hopefully at J.D. Shields Memorial Stadium. I don't expect much precipitation in the forecast. You, if you can't make it to graduation, of course, you can watch it online at WIX94.com or, of course, at WIXSports.com. You can watch the 20, Class of 2013 graduate live on a line. Of course, Lady Rams softball is powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking with locations of Mount Vernon, Dix, Woodlawn, and Ina. Community First Bank is online at Count First Bank. Net. This is your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. We'll run down the Central Christian Church batting orders here in just a moment. But you take a look. Two teams somewhat on an even keel. Of course, they all played that Fairfield tournament start here as well. I believe finishing in, unofficially in fifth place in that tournament, of course. But you take a look at that 2-8 Apollo Conference mark. They beat Charles to Paris in conference play. But it's a team that's kind of been up and down this year. Shows signs of promise at times, but then might run into a buzzsaw against the Trey and drop an 11-1 affair or a tough loss against the Lady Rams prior to the season at 4-3, but just kind of up and down as the season's progressed. Well, when you're under 500, that's what happens. You're hovering around, and you go up, you go down, and then in between, and these two teams have been really matched because of that fact. And Again, a close game the other day, and one of the, or, you know, back in April, not the other day, but two teams, again, like I said, you're kind of dealing with momentum, looking for things, and unfortunately, you may have to play through some things today to get where you need to be, which is beginning regionals next week. And of course, the Lady Rams will travel to the Heron Regional, where on Tuesday they'll take on number one Carbondale. Meanwhile, for Salem, they will head to the Centralia Regional, where they have action right here on Monday. They'll welcome Escuda, a team the Lady Rams got a big 12-9 victory in eight innings over yesterday. And that was big because Mount Vernon came from behind in that one, had some adversity early on, built their way back in, did a good job of battling their way back in and getting that win yesterday, especially... Not only the fact it was a win, but it was on the road, and that was just as important as well. Of course, Central Christian Church batting orders will come your way in just a moment. Central Christian Church, we can watch their Friday night and Sunday services online. It's all at the newscentral.com. Central Christian Church, of course, loving God and loving people. It is senior day here in Salem, I suppose, since they will bat first in the top half of the first inning. We could meet the Lady Rams. Paige Clinton will lead off playing short, followed by Kelby Cuyava at first, and Hannah Wright, the designated player, batting fourth. Summer Hobson in left, Lauren Wilson in the center, and Mallory Gardner is at third. And that lineup followed by Haley Lockhart at second, Alexis Turd in right, and Rachel Wright, who is the catcher for Lance Bolts, Mount Vernon, Lady Rams. And there you go. Of course, defensively for Salem, Mallory Daniels will get to start in the circle today. Heather Henson does the catching. Chelsea Lane, Anissa Rasul, Caitlin Rusher, and Kelly Sager will be from third to first. While it is Miranda Hyber, Ashlyn Keene. And Taylor Smith of the Lady Wildcat Outfield. Glad to have you, WMIX, WMIXSports.com. It is the bottom of the hour. We'll pause for station identification. This is Lady Rams Radio. You're listening to Lady Rams Softball on AM 940 WMIX, Mount Vernon, Effingham, Terre Haute, and online at WMIXSports.com. A free service from Withers Broadcasting. First, some sprinkles falling out of the sky, but those have since dried up and haven't felt anything over the past couple of minutes, but should be a beautiful sunny afternoon here from Salem as the Lady Rams will wrap up the regular season with the Lady Wildcats. Of course, Paige Clinton, Kelby Cuyava, and Haley, or excuse me, Hannah Wright will get it started here in the top half of the first. And Clinton leads the team, of course, as far as a minimum of 15 games played with a 433 batting average. And of course, Hannah Wright with 411 has four home runs on the season, leads the team and runs batted in with 27. But, of course, the hot stick in the lineup right now is Haley Lockhart with a 950 slugging percentage and a 650 batting average. For Lance Bolts, Lady Rams 11-14, finished the South Southampton Conference season with a 4-6 and six mark, of course, went into Centralia, 
Lost a tough 10 3 matchup back on Tuesday afternoon. Umpires will shake hands with the Salem captains and the coaches at home plate, and we will get underway here in just a moment. We're going to get a bit of a late start today, a 4 30 scheduled start. We've started early more often than not this season. This will be our first late one. That helped me a little bit. <laughs> And my travails through certain areas of Jefferson County where you can't go well, anywhere. A disaster. I, I don't know who was in charge of pre-planning in a certain area in Jefferson County as far as traffic and road construction is concerned, but they are a poor dart thrower with their eyes closed is all I can say. There we go. Not easy to get anywhere right now, but of course, glad to be here with you today on WMAXSports.com. You'll find an archive of this broadcast up there later tonight or early tomorrow. Of course, Saturday Sports Show will come your way tomorrow morning right here on AM 940, also online at WMIXSports.com. It's a busy day, as we also have a doubleheader, Rams Baseball versus Highland. 11 o'clock is your first pitch for game number one. We'll have every pitch from both of those, and of course, we hope to have every pitch from both the Rams and Lady Rams all throughout the postseason. First, with Lady Rams on Tuesday as they had to Heron to take on Carpentale. Of course, we'll have the Rams on Wednesday as they will battle the winner of Heron and Marion. Saturday, we might have an instance where we have two teams playing at once, and of course, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but we're going to try to have every pitch from every team. Postseason coverage as we head to the Heron Regional next week. Should be a great week or so for you. A couple of weeks, we hope. I was looking at some I read on Twitter. Oh, yeah. About needing a shoe shine? Yeah, I was curious. Where the, did I get the baseball shoes out today, or this is the baseball softball shoes? Well, you probably didn't have time. Did not. Busy day. I thought I was going to be here way early. <laughs> I did, too. I, I thought I was going to be here. I left work and spent a lot of time circumnavigating um, eastbound 64. Wasn't circumnavigating about 10 miles an hour. Wow. Of course, the WMAX Sports Mobile Studios had to actually stop by a sister ship of its sponsor up here earlier, and I thought I was going to be ridiculously early as well based on that. But ended up getting here on time, got set up, got the lineups rewritten, color-coordinated, and so I'm happy. Of course, I need a shoe shine now. Between the sound check at J.D. Shields today and then we actually sound checked for graduation. Oh, that be a great stream. It went well. Took control of the PA. Got to play some music. I've always wanted to play over the speakers. In typical Hugo fashion, we started Welcome to the Jungle. Yeah. Because you have to. I mean, that's a requisite. I don't think that'll get blasted tomorrow night. No, I'm feeling well. I hear some macho man, though. God bless his soul. So we're going to underway just a little late. Warm-up pitch is being tossed now by Ma- Mallory Daniels here for Salem. We told you their defense a moment ago. We told you the Lady Ram batting order. We're not going to do that again. We will meet the Salem Lady Wildcats, of course, in the bottom half of the first and get to know the Lady Rams defensively here on the road at the Salem Park. Beautiful park. Well, I love this place. Slow day for scores. There's some 3A, 4A trickles of game baseball and softball around Southern Illinois, but 1A, 2A, using this day as practice day. A lot of graduations going on this evening at high schools around the area. So most of the county has to graduate tonight. I know Woodlawn does. Waltonville does. Right, Weber, does. Weber does. There you go. Everybody has three fours. Mount Vernon tomorrow. It's a commencement weekend. Oh, man. And we're going to get our way that that's deal where you get the loud, some, some of the loudest cheers tonight. Because those who make the loudest cheers sometimes don't see the next one. That's been my theory over the years. Think about that. I am thinking about that. Think about it in eighth grade graduation. Trying to break that down. Here it comes. First pitch of the game will sail inside the corner for a strike at 436. Clinton fall behind here. Nothing at one. Has three home runs on the year, batting 433 as she digs it. The senior shortstop used to be catcher. Now shortstop, of course, will head to Lakeland next year. Here comes a pitch on the way from Daniels. This is going to be ripped into right field. Picked up by the right fielder, Smith, and there's a lead-off single oh, for Bates. Oh, snazzy, fastball high and away. Just snapped it right between first and second. Pretty nice little swing on the ball there. So I'll bring up Kelby Grada with a runner on first, and nobody out top one. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. I believe it's still Avery Barton back in the mouth for the studio for now. Got a big weekend. Yes, he does. Graduates tomorrow. Somehow going to run our games for us, at least game or day. I don't know. We haven't figured that out yet. That's the first pitch ball inside the Kelby K. 1-0 count. Nobody out. One on here in the top half of the first. Lady Rams softball is powered by Community First Bank. We'll tell you about this well throughout this broadcast. Next one's on the way. The runner's going. There goes Clinton. And she will slide right into a tag, and that'll be her first out. Yeah, that ball was right there. A little 2-6 force out. Ball beat the runner. Tag beat the runner. She's out by a good two steps. What a throw by the catcher. That's a good throw by Henson on down to second base. So one out. Nobody on now for the Lady Rams. 1-1 count on Kelby. 
with Hannah Ryan on deck, batting 411 with a team high, four home runs and 27 runs batted in. Rip Foul just passed the glove of the third baseman. It's one and two. Of course, we're on the air tomorrow, 1045 pregame here on WMIX and WMIXSports.com as the Rams will close out the regular season with the Highland Bulldogs. Lady Rams used to do the same back in the day. Not anymore. That'd be a toughie. That's a good matchup to close out your season. Mm-hmm. Where's the one, two, Calvin? Slowed it down a bit. Hit the plate, two and two. I'm not seeing them a couple weeks from tomorrow. Amen to that. Of course, back in 08, it wasn't quite the game you necessarily wanted to see. We'll tell you more. Well, about. yeah, they had a major league pitcher on that. <laughs> I mean, two, two, Calvin. That one's ripped right to the third baseman lane. She'll make the grab. There's two outs. That's uh, never fun when you go into the sectional final. You got to, you know, one year you get a major league pitcher, the next year you get a guy in a minor league system at Waterloo. So, I mean, you know, you, <laughs> it's not why you do it at 3A level. <laughs> Metro East, just a bird of a different feather. And, of course, the right-handed Hannah Wright, the DP, will stand in. Here comes the first pitch. Corks that. Ooh, didn't even get to the outfield. It's not really a cork. It's going to be a soft liner. And one, two, three. Technically, go to the Lady Rams through the top half of the first. No score from Salem. This is Lady Rams softball. Proud to be my exports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank, asking why you bank with Community First Bank. Is it knowing your deposits are also vital to home loans in Jefferson County and our local economy? Is it having your choice of convenient locations and ATMs? Is it seeing a staff of friendly faces you recognize as your neighbors? These are all reasons enough to count, though you only need one, and we are honored you chose us. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC. You've just got to see the new Chevy Sonic at Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. The Sonic gets an estimated 40 miles per gallon on the highway. The Sonic features a five-star safety rating. It's very affordable. Right now, you can get a rebate up to $1,000. And with a full factory warranty backed by a service department that is second to none, why buy used? Get your Chevy Sonic today at Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. You're listening to Lady Ram Softball, powered by Community First Bank. And we welcome you back, Lady Ram Softball. We head to the bottom of the first from Salem. No score. We need to meet the Wildcats. The Wildcats, Mallory Daniels, Anasol Rasol, and then Kelly Sager, and then Taylor Henson, Taylor Smith, Chelsea Lane, Miranda Hybert, Caitlin Rusher, and Ashlyn Keene for the Wildcats. There you go. Bottom of the first, no score. Lady Rams got the leadoff single, got cut down at second on a stolen base try, and then one through the rest of the way, ended up going down in order. So, here we are, Haley Shelf doing the pitching for the Lady Rams, with the 1-1 mark on the line, and the first pitch will be high to Daniels, one ball, no strike. Love this ballpark, because you're in the middle of WJ ballpark, in the WJB park, and then you're in the middle of trees. There's nothing around. You're in the middle of the city, a lot of bustling movement, obviously, but you don't have a lot of noise. Trees all around. Love the ambiance. Love the foreground and background Foliage as a 2 0 across the plate for 2 and 1 here to Mallory Daniels, batting 444. And the thing about it is, being in this area where, you know, it's about trees and swamps and creeks and stuff, the field does pretty good. Of course, quick round ball to short, Clinton will pick it up, no problem. Fires over to first base, and there's your first down, 6 3. This is a beautiful facility. Of course, Salem, many don't realize this is your home for Miracle You know, it was invented right here. Maybe not this precise area, well, no, but might have been, though. Who knows where it was protected? Exactly. Here comes the first pitch. It's wild. Of course, nobody's on. Doesn't matter. One and zero. Oh. Here to wrestle the shortstop, batting about three fifteen. Defensively for the Lady Rams, Summer Hobson in left, Lauren Wilson in center, Alexis Stewart out in right field today. Mallory Garner's at third, Paige Clinton at short, Haley Lockhart back in the lineup. She's at second with we have the first baseman. Of course, the catcher is the freshman Rachel Wright. It's one one out of Rasul with Kelly Sager on. Two oh four down the right side. Sager and Salem, Sager and Woodlawn. Yes, I got oh. that backwards earlier. That's going to hit the left of the Rasul. She'll take first base on the plot. Well, I remember you saying that, and I thought, well, that's interesting. What a difference the county makes. Exactly what I thought earlier. <laughs> so on, on one out, home half of the first. No score from Salem. Pitch on the way from Shelf. It's going to scoot up and away. It's a quick ball one to Sager. With Heather Henson, the cleanup batter on deck. Lady Rams, of course, are eleven and fourteen on the year. We'll head to the postseason next week in Heron while Salem heads across the county to Centralia. This is going to be quickly ripped in the center on the run as Wilson. She'll make a tremendous grab. It keeps the runner on first and two outs. Both pitchers going to live up in the zone. There's going to be a lot of rockets hit today. Could be. That's a 
big swing there. Everybody's getting a good look. Warm day. Great day for softball. Hitters are going. I mean, those pitches we have in the zone, they're going to get smoked like that. Of course, they will step Heather Henson has a pair of home runs this year, batting 304. That's right. Has a runner on first and two outs. And this first pitch will be set foul to the backstop. No balls in the strike. Of course, the starting line of today brought to you by Central Christian Church. Discover the excitement at Central. They offer exciting worship experiences, tactics, with energy, relevant teaching, and awesome programming for children and youth. Log on to the new Central.com for service times and more information. The 0-1. Oh, down, swing, hold, 0-2. Uh-oh. Run down here between first and second, I believe. Well, we'll tell you about that later. That's going to end the first of the rundown. Down go the Wildcats. No score after one. This is Lady Ram Softball from WI Exports. It happens every spring. You need a great quality, new-to-you vehicle. There's a reason why Second Chance Auto has been helping put families into affordable, dependable vehicles for over 32 years. Honest, fair deals. Ain't nothing fancy, just great vehicles with warranties. Honest deals and bank rate financing for all. That's the only way Second Chance Auto will do business. And you don't even have to leave your home to get credit approval. Call Second Chance Auto at 244-4582 and get pre-approved right over the phone. They know bad things can happen to good people. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Back aches, bad hips, rickety knees? Why not try aquatic therapy? The Red Lake College Aquatic Center has more than a swimming pool. Try a six-lane, 75-foot lap pool along with a whirlpool 10 feet in diameter and a 10-foot by 20 hydrotherapy pool. Aquatic therapy is very affordable. In many cases, the tuition is waived entirely. With special access and dressing areas for the elderly and physically challenged, getting in the water is easy. Experts are on hand to assist with various areas of aquatic fitness and rehab. Call 437-5321, extension 1207, or visit rlc.edu. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. Back to the Lady Rams on WMIX. AM 940, WMIXSports.com. Regardless of how you may be accessing us, thank you for being part of our day. As Lady Rams softball is powered by Community First Bank. Your community, your choice, your bank. Five locations and friends and neighbors on staff who understand your needs. Community First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back to personal banking, member FDIC. So it'll be Hobson, Wilson. And Garner here in the top of the second. No score from Salem if you just join us. First pitch on the way is going to be ripped towards center. On the run is Keene. She'll make a good grab, and there's your first out. So you told me today that Mom's Belonger was listening? Yeah. yeah. Matt Sundin, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he's been. Peter Forsberg. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. He had a recording class cool. received a report. Had the uh, recording sent to us, picked up in Finland. But random stuff like that happens. You have the right equipment. Here it comes. First pitch will miss inside to Will. Very good. <laughs> How do you do that? Drop the puck on all two. Of course, if I have to watch Knicks and Pacers for more than 30 seconds the rest of the year, I'm going to have some offense. Spout made my head explode. The 1 0 coming. It's not 94. We know that. Garner gets out of the way in the on deck circle. Quick, Quick feet. One and one. Quick feet, Garner over there. No problem for her. One ball, one strike, one out. Nobody on here for the center fielder, Wilson. Glad to have you with us. Chris, you go with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Avery Barton, we think, still back in our mouth in the studio. They're going to do the old swap at some point. What was actually broadcast in the one that you heard? 1-1 um, one, one is going to be sent third base side. A little bit of trouble on that is going to... Foul ball. Yes. Ball is on the floor. I didn't see anything. Yeah. I got distracted by Finland. Yes. That is awesome. 1-2. What were we talking about? Oh, it was uh, programming. It would have been nighttime there, so daytime there. It was just some of your classic America's Best Music with a Chick Watkins liner in between. As this one will fall low on the way, even to count two balls, two strikes to Warren Wilson. Garner on deck here for the Lady Rams at the top of the second. Probably not hearing us in Finland right now. So I can tell you that, the 2 2. Oh, worldwide, they might be on WMIXSports.com as this is ripped in the left field for a single. So a single but one out variety for Wilson brings Garner up with the runner off. Second hit covered. Of course, we'll look for a Red College player of the game. Red College can save you thousands of dollars on your college education. Log on to rlc.edu to find out how. Look at you. Working, working, working hard. One on, one out here in the second. No score. As Garner gets a piece of one, sends this towards right center. Keen, Smith, and Rasul were on the run. It'll be Keen that comes away with it. She came a long way, and from the other day, that goes F8. Nice to see outfielders talking after the starting center fielder and right fielder for Edwardsville dove after a ball in the right center field gap headlong and hit each other and knocked each other out of the game. Oh, wow. That's how Colton Matter got that inside the park two-run home run. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I already tweeted that, by the way. You can follow us on Twitter, at WMIXports. It's Lockhart's going to send one to third on the ground. 
Picked up by Lane, fires over the first inside. Lady Rams strand one here in the second. We are through one and a half, no score. This is Lady Rams softball, powered by Community First Bank. I always thought I knew the reasons why we chose the medicine shop here in Mount Vernon as our pharmacy. I mean, they're always so friendly and helpful, and the medicine shop is a full-service pharmacy. Then last week, I'm talking to my sister and discovered the medicine shop offers complete compounding services, just like in the old days when pharmacists took the time to make unique prescriptions just for you. Compounding made it possible for my sister to get her hormone replacement product made right here, and I was able to get a topical cream for pain filled as well. We were so glad we could get our compounded medications locally and talk face-to-face with the pharmacist. He told us that he works directly with our doctor to make sure we get just the right product for our needs. And the medicine shop can compound prescriptions in various forms. Capsules, lozenges, creams, even flavored lollipops. Just when I thought I knew all the reasons why we chose the medicine shop, I found one more. Give pharmacist Eric Black a call today in Mount Vernon at 618-242-8776. Back to Lady Ram Softball, powered by Community First Bank. And we welcome you back to Salem. We head to the home half of the second, 4 5 and 6 2 up. Heather Henson gets it started. On oh, a pitch that looked pretty good. It was. Oh, it was a strike. Yeah, it was. It was so good it was a strike. Yeah, how about that? Nothing to want the quick count. Taylor Smith and Chelsea Lane to follow. Here in the home half of the second, as this one's going to be left high, it's going to be sent deep. Wilson will backtrack and take a few steps up and make a good grab. So two pitches, one out here in the bottom of the second inning. Let's see. Tony Wilson scoreboard up. We'll get you some when we have them. Tony wants to help you fill out your insurance needs. Find them online at TonyWilt.com. or look for the White State Farm Chief around town. It's what I like to call a mobile business card and get you a better state with State Farm. One pitch, another one ripped deep in the left field. Hobson is going to be on the run, and that'll hit the wall. That's a long old signal. Yep. Loud. Probably should have been more, but... Well, I had a little bit of a trot going on, as in running, not trots. But that wouldn't be good. No, no, not white pants. That would be all white uniforms. That will bring in Chelsea Lane, a runner on, and one out here in the second. As this pitch will miss up and away, it's going to be one and zero. With Heiber on deck here for the Lady Cats. Second chance auto, another of our sponsors. Your largest selection of free on vehicles, priced your 10K in one location. This one can be popped up into foul territory. Right. Rachel Wright will get underneath it to make the ground. Such a good job by her to pop up, drop the mask, and then look and get that ball. Nice job. We're second chance now. You can get your credit approved over the phone. Give them a call, 244-4582. Longtime sponsors of both the Rams and Lady Rams. Of course, you're tuned in for the WMIX News at 5. It'll be on 94.1 FM only today with this broadcast of Rams Athletics. The news today, of course, is brought to you by Fort Square, King City Chrysler, and the Alfred and Church of Christ. 1-0 is the count. As Hyper will stand in, and this one's going to be tapped down the third base side. Good pickup by Garner. Rifles went over to first, and five career tires aside. So now the Wildcats strand a runner in the second. Through two, we've matched. No score. This is Lady Ram Softball presented by Community First Bank. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois welcomes Dr. Beth Conrardi to their medical staff. Dr. Conrardi specializes in comprehensive pain management using a multidisciplinary team approach by working with other specialists for optimal diagnosis and treatment of pain. Dr. Conrardi will treat most conditions of the spine, including management of cancer pain. Dr. Beth Conrardi, helping to make life better day after day at the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois in Mount Vernon. Call 618-242-3778. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins. You did it. It's graduation day and you've got that feeling beyond compare. From kindergarten to graduation, your day-to-day efforts have been your first long-term investment. Community First Bank extends congratulations along with a promise. In the coming year, we will increase our community scholarship dollars to encourage graduation goals across Jefferson County and further invest in our community. Like us on Facebook to learn more. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Find us on Facebook under WMIX Sports. Back to the Lady Rams on WMIX. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. Chris Hugo with Danny Jawetsky alongside. We head to the third with 8-9-1 duo for last Colts Lady Rams. Stewart showed Bunt wisely pulled back on a pitch. That'll miss low ahead for ball one. Hard hit balls everywhere right now. Nobody get really past second base. Both teams have stranded a runner here as we've completed two. Oh, the 1-0 pitch dropped down back oh. in the picture out of the circle. Cup Daniels fires over to first base. Covering was for Sewell, but we need a two more rusher. Can't hang on. She should have caught that one. I hit it right in the net. Sewell's a short, you go. All right. Got him backwards. Anyhow. Yep. Happened. It does. Run out first. Bottom of the order produces, and something maybe can happen here for the Rams. 
So we wait the first pitch to right with a runner on and nobody out. She will lift one to shallow center field. Rasul will call everybody off and make the grab. Play, but they're going to have a double play. So a great job there by Rasul to recognize the runner was caught half and half way. And so now nobody on the base pass with two outs for the top of the order and page run. Uh, you, eh, base running mistake happened. Yeah, we have, we've all been there. Been there, done that, trying to be over aggressive. All right. Now they bring in Clinton, of course, who singled her last time. Now with two outs and nobody on, she takes one moment inside for ball. So, Cardinal affiliate day, I hear. Oh, yeah. I read. Well, you had the voices of the Fairfield Mules, Mount Vernon Rams, Nashville Hornets, and Central Orphans all in one place. It's a two-out pitch. Will be sent in a right center field for base hit. Could be more for Clinton. She adds to second. Won't be a throw, at least not one in time. It'll be a two-out double. So right. we throw a grenade, and that's a short circle we had there. Could. Look like and no, trivia. Okay. no trivia. No trivia at all? Okay. okay. That's the actual name of that segment. Was the cat fight? Apparently. I bet it was a. I bet it was more than a cup of knowledge involved too. Ooh. Yep, but Great. it was fun though. You got to do a lot of different things. Great night in the Gateway City. Got to meet Chris Duncan in the, in the can. Well, that was one made your day then. This is going to be a blooper into center, but right there to make the grab is Rusher. Down go the Lady Rams. They strand a runner here in the third through two and a half. No score. This is Lady Rams softball powered by Community First Bank. How do the best continue to get better? Hi, this is Chase Landers with Landers Collision Centers. We're no different than any team. When you're at the top of your game, the best wants to play for you. That's why, with the addition of our new shop foreman and the rest of our body shop crew, Landers now has a combined experience of over 70 years in dealing with the best parts and repair finishes on the market. This means when you walk into Landers, you can breathe a little easier knowing that your vehicle will receive the best quality repair by the best certified technicians within a reasonable amount of time. Again and again, we work directly with most insurance companies and have loaners and rental vehicles on site for your convenience. We're proud to not only be the standard, but to keep raising the bar in collision repair. Come meet the staff, take a tour of our facilities, and get to know the Landers crew that Landers Collision has so proudly acquired. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. Give us a call on 888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. Back to the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios. This is Lady Ram Softball on WMIX. And quickly we head to the bottom of the third inning. It'll be Rusher, Keen, and Daniels to start for the Lady Wildcats. No score here from Salem. Shelf gets ready for the Lady Rams. Here comes a pitch high. And it'll be 1-0 to Rusher. Lady Ram Softball, as you know, presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Your community, your bank, your choice with friends and neighbors on staff. To understand your needs, Community First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member of FDIC. Quick ground ball wow. to third base, no problem for Garner. A lot of early count swinging here in this game. A lot of first pitch, second pitch swing, and people must have places to go. People can see, but get away day, get away day here. <laughs> As that'll bring in the lefty key here, the number nine spot. Looking to slap her way on, it's a soft liner. Guess who? Haley Lockhart makes a great play, and that'll be her second out. All Stars and Stitches, another of our sponsors, of course. If you need screen printing, banners, signs, plaques, or trophies, give the big man, Big Dave, a call at All Stars and Stitches, 435-5555. Here comes the first pitch on the way to the right, Andrew Daniels. We got no time to mess around to read those liners today. You got to get out. I what you're doing. It's like I just quote, I was quoting, I'm quoting you the fast you go. Wrap it up. I'll coach, coach, uh, 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 what? I don't remember what happened to soft liner for the hour. Oh, man. I got to take one one out the air. I've got myself in the chair. Oh, no. Oh, it's a good thing for us. Okay, two outs, one one coming. Here it is. Gonna be popped up left side. Mallory Garner calls off the shortstop, makes a good play, and there you go. We are through three. Down in order go the Wildcats. This is Lady Rams softball. No score. Proud to be my exports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank, asking why you bank with Community First Bank. Is it knowing your deposits are also vital to home loans in Jefferson County and our local economy? Is it having your choice of convenient locations and ATMs? Is it seeing a staff of friendly faces you recognize as your neighbors? These are all reasons enough to count, though you only need one, and we are honored you chose us. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC. Startup businesses, and they come in the door, they're pretty green. Randy Atkinson, owner of Heartland Accounting, on why he is a small business expert. I have had businesses where I've talked to people in their garage and have grown it to work in three states. There's a lot of tremendous opportunity to help people from the very inception of their business, whether it's just talking about what does it take 
to become successful? What sorts of things do we need to stay legal? I feel very qualified to help people get to where they want to be. I've had that experience and have helped that situation become successful. Heartland Accounting, 3000 Broadway, Suite 2B. This is Lady Rams Softball on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. And we welcome you back to Salem. We head to the top of the fourth for the Lady Rams. will be Hannah Wright, Summer House, and Lauren Wilson. Chris, you go with Danny Zerwinski alongside Avery Barton, allegedly back in the mouth of the studio. I haven't heard hide nor air. <laughs> I know there's going to be a swap at some point. I just can't remember the time they told me when we'll have a new. Got a little something, something going on. No, the next, no. next shift will take over. It's the first pitch is low to right. I didn't know we had one of these shifts. Yeah. Who knew? We had 12 people. One needed off, so there's two covering, and that's just the kind of crack staff we have at WMIX Sports, where everybody loves everybody. Here comes the 1-0 rip to the left. That'll be a base hit for the sophomore right, and a leadoff variety. Here's the Lady Rams another base fourth, runner. Fourth hit for Mount Vernon, and right, you can see her get on her toes on that swing. That's pretty neat to see her jump on that. The thing about it is, Mount Vernon has four hits. Salem only has one so far. Of course, WMIX Sports Hall of Famer Alicia Shelton now back at our Mount Vernon. Oh, she is. I'm glad to have her up north. Yeah. Is she back for a summer, summer move? Is that what this is? Allegedly. The Todd's still standing in with a runner on and nobody out. Ooh, right to the third baseman lane. The second for one. They will not turn two. And that'll go down as 5-4. It's nice to have Miss Alicia Sheldon back in there. Right, that's all. I mean, one day we might, walk in, famer. We, might, we might one day walk into some food. Food all oh, those desserts she makes. Those foodles. Yeah. There's really something called foodles. I took a yeah. picture of at DuCoin at the fair and sent it to her one time. That's blown away. One out and a runner on. Here comes Lauren Wilson. Pitch on the way is going to be outside for 1-0. The WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, meanwhile, are driven by King City Chrysler Center, your Jeep headquarters in Southern Illinois. Of course, 2014 Jeep's rolling in right now. See their selection online at kingcitychrysler.com. The 1-0 pitch is on the way. Wilson's going to rip this one to third. Lane will pick it up. Fire over to first in time. Great play. Great staff. Great backhand. And that'll be your second out. How good is she? Solid. I mean, she is salty over there. Not bad. Sure handed. Good arm. That'll bring in Mallory Garner. Two outs and a runner on second. You know, sir, since I put that umbrella up here. Yeah, I like it. Inside low, one and out of Mallory. Of course, Lockhart on deck. Should the inning stay alive here in the south of the fourth? We'll look for a Red Lake College player of the game in this one as well. Red Lake College can save you thousands in your college education. Log on to rlc.edu to find out how. As a pitch misses up, it looks like it's going to be 2-0 here to Garner. Don't forget graduation, speaking of Red Lake College. They will bring you the coverage of Mount Vernon Township High School graduation tomorrow night at 8 o'clock on WMIXSports.com or WMIX94.com where you can watch the seniors graduate live. It'll be a strike call on the 2-0, make it 2-1 to Garner. So I'll picture today the seniors going through practice, or at least getting ready to. Yep, got to practice inside and outside. Here comes as this one will be. Ripped in the right field, and a shoestring grab made by Smith. So that's going to do us through three and a half. Still no score. Lady Rams strand another. This is Mount Vernon Softball from WI Exports. I always thought I knew the reasons why we chose the medicine shop here in Mount Vernon as our pharmacy. I mean, they're always so friendly and helpful, and the medicine shop is a full-service pharmacy. Then last week, I'm talking to my sister and discovered the medicine shop offers complete compounding services, just like in the old days when pharmacists took the time to make unique prescriptions just for you. Compounding made it possible for my sister to get her hormone replacement product made right here, and I was able to get a topical cream for pain filled as well. We were so glad we could get our compounded medications locally and talk face-to-face with the pharmacist. He told us that he works directly with our doctor to make sure we get just the right product for our needs. And the medicine shop can compound prescriptions in various forms. Capsules, lozenges, creams, even flavored lollipops. Just when I thought I knew all the reasons why we chose the medicine shop, I found one more. Give pharmacist Eric Black a call today in Mount Vernon at 618-242-8776. You're listening to Lady Ram Softball, powered by Community First Bank. And we welcome you back, Lady Ram Softballs. We have the home half of the fourth. New Lady Ram pitcher will be Casey Little, 225 ERA, and nine in the third innings pitched. She'll take on an over and relief of Haley Shelf, who actually pitched pretty strong, three innings. Wow, one hit. That's a pretty good roll. One hit for three innings, and now the freshman will take over. Got a lot of throwing yesterday at Mascuda, when I was told. 
Here comes the first pitch from the freshman little, and that's going to miss off and away. Think about this game. If you get around the plate, Salem's going to hack at it, and your defense will have to work with you. No, no doubt about that. Let's see. Oh, I'm forgetting something. Hmm. Eh, it happens. That's going to be a strike call on the inside corner. The count quickly even to Rasul, one and one. Kelly Sager, Heather Henson, the follow, two, three, and four in the Salem lineup here in the bottom of the fourth. No score for the park as we wait the 1 1. Going to miss low and away, and it's 2 and 1 now. Nice to see most people got all their games in this week avoiding the rain. Should avoid things tomorrow as long as it doesn't pick up tonight. Well, it's not too intense. The 2 1, going to be fouled back. That'll even things up with two balls and two strikes. Don't forget about Sarah Staley of Country Financial. Tomorrow's the day that anything could happen. It's graduation day, Malfoy. Of course it could. You meet okay. Sarah Staley at Country Financial. Of course, you get a one on one relationship and a plan that meets your goals. Country Financial. What's your idea of financial security? The rest of the county, of course, commits the exercises are tonight. As the 2 2 will be sent toward left on the run, it's Clint makes a nice. handed basket grab. Nice out. Yep, went for it. Left fielder didn't get a break on the ball. Boy, she did a good job of looking and talking and getting two hands on it. And fundamentals. Key. That'll bring in Sager with three home runs on the air. Adding about 322 as this pitch is going to miss outside. Yeah, it'll be a quick 1 0 count. Henson on deck here for the Lady Wildcats. Did I bring my umbrella back out of the fence? That's not good. Uh oh. That could be dangerous as one will bounce away to it up. So two balls, no strikes to Sire with one out and nobody on the bottom half of the scoreless fourth inning. We're on the Twitterverse at WYX Sports. We have Facebook as well. Do a lot on the Twitter, though. 2 0, Kevin. It's side low, 3 0. We're back on the air tomorrow. Oh, yeah, Saturday. Woof. Get up early. Saturday Sports Show, 808 till 10 o'clock. We'd love to do it. Voted lineup thus far coming your way tomorrow, 3 0 coming. It's county day. Well. It is. Yeah, we're going to we're county gonna, plus one. We're going to hit the county tomorrow. We're going to talk a lot of local tomorrow. Yes. Not that we don't. Always, but we always talk local. But tomorrow's an even more important day. End of two, try it in Edwardsville or scoreless in baseball. But it's. It's one of those deals where it's a lot of local stuff tomorrow. Of course, with one on and nobody out, the first pitch to Henson the dirt for a 1 0 count. One out, one on here for the Wildcats, threatening in the bottom half of the fourth inning for the Salem Park. 206 down the left field line, 204 down right field, and 210 in straightaway center. Pretty good dimensions for a softball park as the 1 0 across the plate, 1 and 1. I think with the trees and the trees that surround the park, all the way around, basically, there's not a lot of wind around here. That's why the ball jumps so much around here in this park particular place. 1-1. One, one. Of course, we're at a lower sea level than the rest of the community as it becomes 2-1 and one now to Henson. Smith on deck. There's not a sea for hours from here, but you get the gist. Well, Raccoon Lake, I guess. Radio towers are made by sea level. Oftentimes. So they're erp. As it's 3-1 now, three balls and a strike. But one on. Isn't that the tallest point in the county? Yeah, county? allegedly. 500, 550 foot tower. Has to be, I would think. 3-1, of course, we're talking about our FM transmitter. As this one will be dropped near right center, because nobody was going to catch up to it. Everybody thought everybody else had it. And so that'll be a one-out single to put two aboard yeah. here for the Wild. That, that should be an out. That's one of those deals there where the outfielders have to understand that, number one, Haley Lockhart's probably not got a lot of range. He coming back from that knee injury in December. And as an outfielder, you got to come over and play that and come in and take grab that ball. Of course, one out, two aboard now for the Wildcats. Threatening with an RBI chance for Taylor's. Yeah. It is. Okay. Yep, it looks like a two in the second number there for a second. It's nope. Nope. Okay, so okay. it is. It's one and oh. Of course, that scoreboard update a moment ago is brought to you by Tony Wilt State Farm Insurance. For all of your insurance needs, see Tony and Malvern and look for them online at TonyWilt.com or find the White State Farm Jeep around town and get to a better state. Quickly, it's two and oh, and a pitch low to Smith. Runners on first and second here at the bottom of the fourth and he no score. Little wind and fire. Gonna come low again. It's low one not strike. there. That knee high strike's not there today. Gonna to have to circumnavigate that zone. Yeah, we'll raise it up a little bit. So just past the top of the hour on WMAX Mount Vernon. Of course, I believe the WMAX News at five still going strong on ninety four point one FM. Of course, the news today is gonna to take long to get anywhere outside of Jefferson County. Three one coming. Inside the yeah. strike. It's a strike, and she's already struck out from the other three pitches. I know. The Bucks left. Huh? Struck out three times. Yeah. Because it's been nine. Full count, make or break. Here comes the one out. That's going to miss high. And the base is now loaded for the Cats for 
Chelsea Lane, who's been there defensively. We'll see if she can pick him up offensively that, here. That was the Bugs Bunny. He already had one card of 21, too. Uh-huh. <laughs> So you can hit us up on Twitter. Maybe if you know where you can get a good shoe shine in the area. I need some help with that. Base is loaded. Pitch on the inside corner. Catches all lane. It's called your hands. Do it myself, huh? That's right. You see one of the mall back in the day. Back in the day. And they were... Did a good job. Oh, I'm going to miss what I want. Let me tell you about Community First Bank at <coughs> Heartland. Sorry about that. They welcome you back to personal banking. See Joe and Joy for residential loan. Committee First Bank, the Grand IC, Equal Housing Lender. Ground ball to the pitcher. Runners coming home. Let's see. Going to be safe at the plate on the ruling. Did not hang on to the ball, actually. Well, so the other girl, she crossed the plate whenever she came across. So Fielder's choice and a run. I think it matters. Right, but, well, that's okay. but you cannot call her safe until she actually touches the plate. You, can't, you have to stand there as an umpire, not signal. I thought she tested the plate. She did. But then again, you look at it, and there could be a question of maybe what she had to have slid. In that case, she did not. Right. So then that argument could be out there. A pitching change. Huh, different happen. ways you could argue this one. Yes. So, what we're going to have here is we're going to have Kelby Guiava come at the pitch. Looks like Little will just slide on over to first base. We hope that everybody will be happy. So one nothing. Salem takes the lead here in the bottom half of the fourth with Hyber coming up, the left fielder, ground right out the third, back in the second inning. And we'll see Kelby Kriava take over. This break in the action is powered by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy in Melbourne at 2339 Broadway, where, of course, customer service is their top priority. Speaking of service and our top priority, glad to bring you Melbourne and graduation tomorrow night. You can watch it live at WMIXSports.com and WMIX94.com. Brought to you by Red Light College. So how does the setup work for that, for those that are wondering? The setup for that works. One, we hope to goodness we're not in the gym tomorrow night. Okay, that's good. Because we are not prepared. I'll be the first to admit. We'll make it happen. If that should happen. Right. Really, but it's outside. more necessary when it's a yeah, gym. Yeah, gym graduation is easy. Well, you know outside. how we set up for football. Right. I'm picturing it for you now, but we'll have a camera up in the press box. and Because it has such a great focus, we're able to see all the stage. We're able to see the choir. You can't see the band because you can't see the band if you're sitting there in the stands. Anyway. Right. But, um, and then we hook into the, the school's audio, so you can hear Dr. Smith, you can hear the choir, and you can hear anything else that pipes in through that PA. And we graduate to face the home side of the field? Yes. Okay. I just yeah. want they're, to not, they are not going to throw towels or shirts at the stand. Well, no, I just want to know people so listen to, oh, yeah. wanted people listen to understand and get a sure. visual of what's going to be taking place for those that haven't been to a graduation of Albert High Very successful last year. Got a couple of thank you notes, one from Hawaii. All right. I'm all that could not see her grandson graduate. Well, that's what it's all about. We'll do it rain or shine tomorrow. Can't wait to be there from J.D. Shields Memorial Stadium, we hope. Um, I can't see anything to push in the gym. Here comes the first pitch from Guiana. Across the inside corner to Haber. Halber. Ooh, Huber. Hyper. There we go. We're going phonetically one place, but then right in the other. It's going to be a ground ball to first. Little's going to come home for one. Good stretch there by Rachel Wright. She stretched into the pit. or into the throw. You got it? Yep. Act size of first baseman. You have to act that way. On that situation, as a catcher, you have to go as a first baseman, and she was had her right foot on the plate. And then, of course, reached towards the throw. First good play by Casey Little at first. Maybe the Ray, the Ray Rams can hold off to one run in this inning. We'll see what happens. Bottom of the fourth, one nothing. Bases loaded, two outs. It's going to be high and tight to Caitlin Rusher. She grounded out her last time. Stands in with an RBI chance. Bases are cramped here at the bottom of the fourth as Salem takes the early one nothing lead. Tell you about more sponsors here in just a moment. As the 1 0. Catches an inside corner for 1 1. See what happens here. One ball, one strike. Next one on the way. Not going to call until I see it. 2 2 1. Can't believe bringing some gas here. She is. She has some nice. She was warming up prior to the game at a nice yeah. pop. I think she was warming up for Colleen Strobel prior to the game. As the 1 1 comes. Check on the right. Ball. Ball. Make it 2 and 1. It's 2 and 2. She can play volleyball with in this neck. Well, it's almost in this neck of the woods. Yeah, see. almost the same county. Yeah. You might as well. It's extension. Yeah. Probably like Wayne City is Jefferson. 2-2. Two, two. This one is going to be five foul behind. This account will stay the same and we'll do it again. Back there in the weeds. Like a chance auto. Large yeah. selection of pre-owned vehicles priced under $10,000 in one location. Proud supporters of Rams Athletics. Now call ahead for credit approval. 244-4582. Laced foul. Left field side out of play. And we do it again. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, bases loaded here. In the bottom of the fourth inning, Salem on top, one to nothing. And a great RBI chance awaits Caitlin Rusher. She hit the piece of the right pitch. 
Or a great opportunity to get the Lady Rams out of it for Kelby K. As it's going to be missed, just a scant low. Right. It'll be a full count. Runners will be off the base with the pitch here. The full count, two outs. 3-2, full count. Foul back. We'll do it again. Good at bat. Foul a lot of pitches off. Trying to get hers in the zone. Full count. Two outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. The bases are loaded. Kelby K trying to get the Lady Rams out of the jam. Here against Caitlin Rusher. Who grounded out her last time. Pitch in round. That's going to be a called strike. We have it. Gets the Lady Rams out of it. Just one run across the plate for the Wildcats. You strand the bases loaded. We are through four. This is Lady Rams softball powered by Committee First Bank. It happens every spring. You need a great quality, new-to-you vehicle. There's a reason why Second Chance Auto has been helping put families into affordable, dependable vehicles for over 32 years. Honest, fair deals. Ain't nothing fancy, just great vehicles with warranties. Honest deals and bank rate financing for all. That's the only way Second Chance Auto will do business. And you don't even have to leave your home to get credit approval. Call Second Chance Auto at 244-4582 and get pre-approved right over the phone. They know bad things can happen to good people. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Startup businesses and they come in the door, they're pretty green. Randy Atkinson, owner of Heartland Accounting, on why he is a small business expert. I have had businesses where I've talked to people in their garage and have grown it to work in three states. There's a lot of tremendous opportunity to help people from the very inception of their business, whether it's just talking about what does it take to become successful, what sorts of things do we need to stay legal. I feel very qualified to help people get to where they want to be. I've had that experience and have helped that situation become successful. Heartland Accounting, 3000 Broadway, Suite 2B. You're listening to Lady Ram Softball, powered by Community First Bank. And welcome back to Salem, the heart of Marion County. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside Lady Rams Softball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. See you David Cummins for a commercial loan. He's the president since right at the front door. Albert and Dix, Woodlawn and I have five just county branches to serve you better and to welcome you back to personal thank you. Remember, FDIC, details of this one thus far. The Lady Rams, no runs, four hits, no errors, five left the board, while Salem struck in the bottom of the fourth inning with one run, two hits, one error, and then they've stranded five themselves. Most well, of these runs could across the plate could be a different complexion for this game. Mm-hmm. Then it will be up to Lockhart, Stewart, and Wright, barring any changes to Lance Bolt's lineup. Got some accounting paperwork going on post income tax season, like Paperwork right all around. Lance Bolt on their own plan on power. They're getting everything down. Of course, the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square, literally and figuratively tonight. 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon is where the best never rests. See their selection of the all-new 2013 Ford Fusion online at FordSquare.com. Safe vehicle. I blew a tire in one one time and still got to my destination safely. I recommend it. Frank Scott. Yeah, Frank Scott, not kind to Chris Hugo. That particular night, back on December the 7th or the 14th. Take your pick. 7th. I remember now. South of the fifth, one nothing ball game. Salem on top, and Steph Haley Lockhart batting about thirty seven on the year. Takes a pitch across the plate somewhere, nothing to one. Rich Hugo with Annie Zerwinski, and of course Alicia Sheldon is back at our Malford studio. Glad to have her. Nice to have her back in the county. Yeah, it is. Nothing to one. Just one. Hey, sport. look out, Lance. Get out. Hello. Oh. Well, no, nothing in two to land. He's heading down the, the, down the fence there. He's going way down there. Well, that's Michael Turtle on us for it's all. Well, he did go turtle. His head dropped down. He's down to the fence. He's coming back for more, Renee Latchman. <laughs> well, he never stood the box, did he? No. Still waving people in. So nothing in two. He's not Wendell Kim. It's in the dirt one or two. Waving Wendell. Where was he? Was he Chicago or Montreal? Waving Wendell is Chicago. Okay. That seemed like such an expo coach to have. But one ball, two strikes, nobody out, nobody aboard for Lockhart to lead it off. And she'll wait on this one, so it foul. Good defense to the plate here on one and two. Where are you now? How about All-Stars and Stitches? If you need something printed, odds are if you can put your logo on it, All-Stars and Stitches can print it. See Big Dave at All-Stars and Stitches just west of the Benton High School or call 435. 55-55 is the one two goes outside to even things up here. Makes it interesting. Two balls, two strikes. Lockhart's the leadoff batter in the inning. Had a 950 slugging percentage coming into today. Not too shabby. Had a home run at all stop. Here comes the 2 2 inside. Full count. Lady Rams finished 4 and 6 in the South 7th. Swept all off in Cahokia. 
came up short against Carbondale on April the 30th, an 11-8 loss. And Mark Haley's return. Full count, this one's going to be set deep, and if it's fair, it's gone, but it'll be well fouled. Long strike. At that home run distance, pulled, pulled a tad bit. After, after she's going to hit a couple of days. We had a little breeze coming at us now from center field, but not much to hold anything up. So let's see what happens. School count, nobody out. Top of the fifth, a one nothing Salem lead, and this is going to miss outside. So we're going to bat for Lockhart. It's up in a leadoff walk, and that'll bring in Alexis Stewart. That'll be a pinch runner here for Lockhart. And then the fifth, she'll re-enter elementary. It's not real hard. The number down. Okay, thanks. I guess Mickey Strobel. Going by ponytail. Well, it's warm enough now that no numbered sweatshirts are going for the year. Well, that helps. Helps immensely, doesn't it? Yes. I'm an attention to detail type of guy, and it's hard to have that when you have a hoodie with no number on it. So top of the fifth, one nothing ball game. Salem on top. Lady Rams have the tie run on first for Stewart. Here comes Shows Butt. Drops it down the first base side. Foul for nothing at one. That. How you doing over there with those? Oh, I'm behind, but what am I not, really? Oh, I'm just checking. I'm good. Enjoy the conversation more. more well, I mean, I don't want to cause you to be distracted. Oh, no, no. We're good. Tie run on first. It's Scoble running for Lockhart. Nothing to one is the count here on Stewart. Takes low. Looks like it's going to be 1 1. <laughs> so we have some scores. Last we told you, try it at Edwards Hill and one sport. We're scoreless. That's all that's out there. Softball? Folks. Baseball. Oh, okay. Wow. Here it comes. One one. Edwards Hill. Time. Two and one. What a facility that is. I wouldn't know. As I said on the air the other day, if you're building a sports facility, <laughs> man, that it'd be a great way to build a parking lot in the middle of your so at least everybody doesn't have to walk extra distance. Amen to that. 2-1 coming. This is just going to be butted down the first base side. Good butt. Nobody to cover first. That's going to be a single. Nice play. Great job. Good fifth butt hit. by Stewart. Yep. Fifth hit for the Lady Rams today, and they got an opportunity here in the fifth to get something going. Nice. Of course, Community First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of the Mount Vernon Rams and Lady Rams. Five years of county branches. That's more than anyone. Two in Mount Vernon. One in Dix. One in Woodlawn. One and nine equals five. Pretty first bank. Welcome back to personal banking. It's a bit of a harder bunt from Rachel Wright down the third base side. Rolls foul. Picked one off the ankles there. Yeah. If she got a piece of it. Most well, probably would not. So the freshman catcher will stand back in. It's Scoble on second. On first base, of course, is Stewart. Lady Rams has the tie run on second. The go-ahead run on first here in the top of the fifth. Here comes. This is inside low. One ball, one strike. We're on the air tomorrow. Rams baseball versus Highland. 10.45 will be your pregame, of course, following the Saturday sports show with a loaded lineup. We'll talk some regional championships in 1A and 2A. Preview some 3A and 4A baseball and softball regionals. There's track to talk about. There's tennis to talk about. Try, about some, it. try some water polo to talk about. Baseball, softball in the area. Lots of big matchups in 1A, 2A tomorrow. Teams, just interesting matchups all end up up and down the docket. Of course, we're going to talk the county primarily tomorrow in baseball and softball. As we wait the one, two, and this one's going to be sent foul. It stays the same. You have four county teams involved tomorrow. Hard not to. Very good represent. Uh, three of the four. Well, we have. Yeah, we're still trying to get a hold of everybody. Right. We'll get. We'll get it. Yeah, we can confirm. We'll talk to Seb Holloway. We'll talk to Lance Bolt, your usual suspects, and we'll have some more as well as we wait the one, two to right with two on. We'll <laughs> send this one foul. Just pass the third base dugout. We'll do the one-two all over and leave. Of course, we can confirm. We'll talk with Lady Cardinals softball with Matt Patterson. They'll battle Wayne City for a regional title tomorrow. Still trying to get the other half of that. Sam Root, of course, the Weber Trojans. His team will battle Mike Carriers with Lawn Cardinals. We'll talk to three of those four thus far. Still looking on more. Here comes. Ground ball. Foul on the third base side. Lance Bolt will be Chelsea oh, laying there. So you guessed if we do it again. Red Lake College will offer you a player of the game in our post-game show. Red Lake College can save you thousands on your college education. Log on to rlc.edu. See which of the more than 100 degree certificate programs is right for you. The one, two, outside, two balls, two strikes. So the right-handed right, oddly enough. And we'll see the two, two. Daniels gets set. Here comes the pitch outside. Full count. Good at bad here by the freshman. Very good at bat for Rachel Wright. Hello, 
Full count. Here comes. And this one is going to be set in the left on the run will be Hyber. And making the grab, calling her off as a center fielder king, and that'll keep the runners at first. Wow. 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 That ball was totally poked all the way up against the fence with the center fielder, and just a long, loud out. But, oh, just another foot would have left the park. About as close as you can actually get. So the first down now, that brings in the team. Senior shortstop, Paige Clinton, with runners on first and second. A one nothing ball game here in the fifth. She'll tap one foul on the first pitch. There's nothing to one. Mm. Rams inch, Lady Rams inches away from having a 3-1 lead. No kidding. So what would have been the first home run of the year, first career home run for Rachel Wright? Team has eight. Four of them belong to Hannah Wright. Three to Paige Clinton and one to Haley Lockhart. This is ripped right in the glove of the third baseman, and they're going to double off the runner off the first base. It'll go 5-3 on the DP, and the Lady Rams strand a runner here in the fifth through four and a half still. one nothing Salem. This is Lady Rams softball from the my Expert. Learn to live healthy, learn to live well, and learn how you can live free from unexpected medical expense with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance and the Page Agency. Health insurance that covers hospital, medical, and surgical expenses offers a wide choice of deductibles and a non-tobacco user discount, too. Rising medical costs don't have to be a problem with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance. This is coverage we hope you'll never need, but you just can't be without. Call the Page Agency at 242-7000 about a major medical health insurance plan today. I I'm Michael Stack with a look at your next rad weather. Mainly cloudy and not as warm with a few showers and even a thunderstorm from the afternoon into the evening hours. This afternoon's high 73. Mostly cloudy skies late tonight the low 61. A bit warmer with clouds mixing in with some sunshine. A shower or thunderstorm in a few spots high 82. Saturday very warm and humid Sunday with clouds mixing in with some sunshine high 89. Next rad weather from WMIX, Mount Vernon, Illinois. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. Back to the Lady Rams on WMIX. And we welcome you back to Lady Rams Softball, WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Alicia Sheldon is back at our Mount Vernon studio. We'll get you some more scores presented by Tony Wilk, State Farm Insurance. For all of your insurance financial service needs, see Tony and Mount Vernon. Find them online at TonyWilk.com or look for the White State Farm Jeep. Around town, it'll be Keen, Daniels, Rasul, do up, of course, here in the bottom of the fifth for the Wildcats, who have a one nothing lead. Lady Rams looks like they're getting a chance going in the top of the fifth inning, but ultimately some great defense for the Wildcats got them out of the inning. Ball hit on the nose just right at people, and unfortunately that happened. And right now, Mount Vernon has hit a lot of balls hard today, and keeping a scorebook around here is way too complicated. Yeah. Write some numbers down and go. You don't need... First, last, middle, and those will your number. <laughs> Look at you. Green card. Ah, Visa. I mean, green for Salem, green card. Oh, I got you. I was talking credit card. So we were on the same page. I'd be on the same page. Yeah. Out of the fifth, one nothing ball game. Lady Rams softball, of course, as always, is powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Online at comfirstbank.net, of course, you can see. Joanne Joy for residential or commercial on it. Community First Bank. Welcome back to Personal Banking Member FDIC. So, bottom of the fifth, one nothing. Salem on top. Let's we'll see what 9 1 and 2 can do here. Combine thus far. Or O of. Five. Not officially. We'll get back to the action eventually. Just kind of have to go over some paperwork. Dust off the plate, and away we'll go. Here at the Salem Park, lower level of the Salem Park, because there's actually a hill that takes you up. Right. The rest of the park is above. Trees blocking off. Beautiful facility. And it's going to be fouled off, slapped at 10, third base side, nothing to want. Of course, two regionals taking place in Jefferson County tomorrow. One would be the Weber Baseball Regional between Weber and Woodlawn. The other one, the Woodlawn Softball Regional between Woodlawn and Wayne City, both totally underway at 11 o'clock. Those four teams are guaranteed from the county in our coverage that we'll have a team in baseball, a team in softball, make a section. We're looking forward to that as the 0-2. We fouled off to it again, and correct me if I'm wrong, we said on the Saturday Sports Show two weeks ago that those would be a regional championship game, so yeah. both regionals. Mm-hmm. No balls, two strikes to the left-handed batter, King. Here it comes. It's going to be sad foul again. Brown has done a great job in relief here today for the Lady Rams trying to keep it a ball game. Of course, we've had some defensive changes. We should tell you that it's Hannah Wright at first base now. 
Emily Bora makes an appearance in second. And the 0-2 comes for a third time. This one will be popped up over to get it to shortstop Clinton, and that'll be out number one. A lot of pop-ups today. Line drive and pop fly kind of out. No doubt. So the bottom of the fifth, Chris Schuchel with Danny Zerwinski alongside on AM940 and WMIXSports.com. Of course, this is WMIX Mount Vernon. It is over 28 minutes past the bottom of the hour. We're in the window. We're past the top of the hour. We're at the bottom, I should say. Wow. Bottom of five. Try it. Edwards will still score us. Wow. What a game that is. It's oh, oh, overhang. We can't get this anyway. Oh, Foul there. I lost my day. Error. And it is something that's not 0 oh, 1. <laughs> See, he. No humor. No such thing. No balls. One strike to Daniels with one out. Nobody on for Salem in the home half of the fifth. The pitch is going to drop just in front of the plate. It's two, uh, two balls in a strike. That's what I have. I don't know. You didn't ask me. I didn't say nothing. I'm hoping that you will say something. <laughs> that no, direction on air is bad. Executive producer said stuff. Yeah, for a little IFV. Three balls and a strike. Here is the count. And the next one sails just high. That'll be a one-out walk to Daniels. Rasul on deck. Sager, of course. Here in the fifth for the Wildcats. Tomorrow it's the Highland Bulldogs coming to Brennan Klein Field. We'll have both games for you. Baseball action on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Here it comes. First pitch, Russell will come back to the pitch, which she'll try for two. It's to Clinton for one. That's a good, that's a good job by Paige to focus on the bag after tiptoeing around. It's still get one, but they get the lead runner. Well, you're focusing on the bag, and then you got a runner sliding in their feet, try to take your feet out. That's a nice play. Good job to ensure at least one out of the play. That puts two outs to the board, and that'll bring in Kelly Sager, who has three home runs of the season, now batting roughly about... 327. As this pitch will come, catch the inside corner of the runners going. That was a good stop by Clinton. Left of the bag, and that will be 0 1 with a runner on second base on the stolen base back. Good happens on the 0 1 pitch. Here it comes. Rip foul. Just past Lance Bull. Hey, watch out. Meet hey, him. He'll be 0 2. He guarded the iPad well, though. Hey, dude. Yeah. I pass. Blair on mine. I'm going to do the best I can today by King City Chrysler Center. Where you can schedule your service appointment online at kingcitychrysler.com. 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon. They drive the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios. And this ball is driven deep in the left field. Hits the base of the fence. One run will score. It's Rasul. And into second base with an RBI double. Be Kelly Sanka. That ball was scorched out there in left field. One hop the fence. And Salem up 2 nothing now. Interestingly enough, by my count, that's only their third hit of the game. Interestingly enough, you're right. By gosh, by golly. So one on and two out, and here comes the cleanup batter. Oh, and so, where'd you park? Out there? Yeah. Did you get the parking picture last night? You didn't get that parking picture? Right. I have to stick that one up. Why I ask? It was kind of a funny picture of sent out last night. I got you. So it's a one and one. I thought you were on the mailing list. Apparently not. Well, it's one. Two outs, the runner on second. Salem leads two to nothing in the bottom of the fifth. Here it comes. Was I was tired last night. Okay, those affiliate nights run late. Pretend talk about business. Prudential was wrong. <laughs> And if you look underneath his vehicle, you can see there's a little yellow paint yeah. too. You can't park there. Wow. Yeah. They were they were claiming eye issues. As the count goes one and two, I was claiming uh, paycheck issues because that guy is always on that regional for that school all the time. Okie dokie. That's hilarious. Ding, 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 ding. Throw a book? Yeah. For now, one, two. I sent foul. We'll do it again. So we can confirm we have all four. Of our Area 1A coaches in terms of baseball and softball, Matt Patterson, Joe Bernard, Sam Root, and Mike Kara tomorrow on the Saturday Sports Show. It's all brought to you by Crossroads Community Hospital. One, two, the count here. Two gone. Runner on second. Ooh, good pitch there, but it's left just a little up. It'll send Hodson on the run and to get it, she'll make the grab. And so Salem does some more damage here in the home half of the fifth. Now, 2 nothing Wildcats. This is Lady Rams Softball. Crop will be my exports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins. You did it. It's graduation day, and you've got that feeling beyond compare. From kindergarten to graduation, your day-to-day efforts have been your first long-term investment. 
Community First Bank extends congratulations along with a promise. In the coming year, we will increase our community scholarship dollars to encourage graduation goals across Jefferson County and further invest in our community. Like us on Facebook to learn more. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Don't just dream about a better job. Go get it with scores of programs that take two years, one year, or even just a few months to complete. Red Lake College is your gateway to a career you'll love. From nursing to coal mining, from computer programming to cosmetology, and everything in between. Rend Lake College is affordable, convenient, and ready to get you trained for your new job fast. Call us at 618-437-5321 or visit us at rlc.edu. This is Lady Ram Softball on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. And we welcome you back to Salem as we head to the top of the six, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Your community, your bank, your choice. Your friends and neighbors on staff will understand your needs. Community First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Remember, at the IC, don't forget graduation tomorrow night. I'll call it the commencement ceremony or exercise. We'll be online at WMIX94.com or WMIXSports.com. If you can't make it or if it rains and you're not fortunate enough to have a ticket, it'll all get underway at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. We're at WMIX Sports. 2 nothing. your score. Salem scored again in the home half of fifth. The pitcher, Kelby Griava, smacks one into left field. Oh, wow. right into the middle of the left fielder. Hyber. Shoe Make a nice grab. Shoestring catch. Woof. Not much more you can do. Looks like she's going to help out her own cause, get a nice base hit in the left field, and then comes Hyber into Rob. That'll bring in Hannah Wright. One of two today. Singled her last time up. And now trying to rip one. Fouls one off. It'll be nothing at one. Looking at uh, former Rochester quarterback Les Lunt. Of course, he's been transferring. And they're having some negotiations because Oklahoma State is blocking a lot of the schools he's wanting to wow. possibly attend. That must be messy. Of course, part of the reason he was brought in there was by their OC at the time, who's now somewhere in Mississippi. Mm-hmm. Southern Miss? Yeah, and, and the thing about it is you can block those you know transfers and stuff at that level. And right now there's some discussion and disagreement because of the bowl games he could go play against Oklahoma State. Oh, nothing in one. Here it comes. This one's going to be ripped just down the left field line. Never got a call. Now, I'm assuming. Okay. So I've learned don't say it until they say it. Well, if you're not going to say it until they say it, then don't say it because they haven't said it. Yeah. Well, we're just going to assume now. Here it comes. Oh, two outside. One ball, two strikes. Well, I'm telling you. Second Chance Auto, one of our fine sponsors. Don't forget about Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call and get your credit approved over the phone. 244-4582. Golf shot just outside the bag. That's a foul ball. That's Bolt didn't even make an attempt on that. It was a lot. out of his range. Back in the day, it wasn't. No. He was telling me about it the last time he was here, back in 94. Mason apparently was playing a Little League game or something. Say more after the 1-2. Testing his memory, mentioned it was a day that the Cardinals won the Astros 11 to nothing as they were leaving. They got back to Albany, and the Cardinals were trailing the Astros. Same inning. Can't remember what he said the score was. Remembered every detail about it, though. Kind of scary. Like talking to myself. The 2 2 is going to be sent to left field. Good base hit there by Hannah Wright. So, one out base hit. 6 to the day for the Lady Rams. So, no runs, six hits, no errors. They stranded, what, six? And with one out, that'll bring in Summer Hobson. And Summer, of course, coming in with an impressive batting average. Came into today with about a 343. See what they can do here. The tying run at the point now in the 2 nothing ball game here at the top of the sixth inning with one out on the road at Salem. Getting set is Mallory Daniels, the pitcher. And Hobson gets into this one, but in the left field. And right there is Miranda Hyper. That'll be your second out. Some hard hit balls today from Mount Vernon. And I'm a lot of the harder hit ones finding the mitt. Way she goes sometimes, you know. That's this game. Round ball, round bat. Of course, break and the action will be powered by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway. Stop by the locally owned Medicine Shop where customer service is their top priority. As Lance Bolton is talking over with the center fielder Wilson, who's one of two today. Now the winds have shifted. They feel like they're blowing from out toward the fence. The winds have changed. Well, it's just kind of a swirling effect almost. Oh, 
supposed to be a warm one tomorrow night for the MVTHS graduation. Can't wait. It'll be Wilson to stand in with a runner on first, two outs. Top of the sixth, Lady Ramps down a pair. Here comes. She'll did one just past Lance. He gave that one a half pain. Yeah, the half, half pain attempt is what that was. That was just eh. Eh. So, here in Salem, in the top of the six, two nothing ball game, tying around the plate, and this is going to be to lane off the ground. She'll make a nice, how about a nice scoop by soccer there, first base, five three over entire the side, two nothing Salem through five and a half. This is later Ramp softball from be my export. State Farm, this is Jessica. Hey, Jessica, Jerry Newman. Does State Farm offer more discounts to more drivers? Yep, like the good driver discount. So it's for good, but not great drivers. No, Jerry. There's also the multi-line discount. For calling from multiple lines while driving. You should never use a phone while driving. I only make calls from my car when I'm stuck in a ditch or something. Are you in a ditch? Yes, I am. State Farm offers more discounts to more drivers than any other insurance company. Get to a better state. One more reason to call State Farm Agent Tony Wilton Mount Vernon at 242-1421. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois proudly welcomes Dr. Brian Steinke to their medical staff. Dr. Steinke earned his medical degree at the University of Illinois in Chicago and has degrees in anatomy and physiology from UC Berkeley, and he brings prestigious credentials to the center. Dr. Steinke is a gifted physician and contributor to orthopedic textbooks. Call 618-242-3778 or visit their informative website at orthocenter-si.com. Back to Lady Ram Softball, powered by Community First Bank. Bottom of the six we go. The Wildcats on top two to nothing for Taylor Smith, Chelsea Lane, and Miranda Hyber. Here in the home half. First pitch of strike for Grubb, and it'll be nothing at once. Smith will dig back in. Walked and single today. Now ground ball back to the pitcher, Kelby. Fires over first, and 1-3 will be the out. Details in this one. Lady Rams, no runs, six hits, no errors, seven stranded, while Salem with a 2 nothing lead. Two runs, I believe, three hits in there, and five left on base unofficially. See what they do here in the inning. Nobody on one out to Chelsea Lane. She'll offer the first pitch, and it'll be about back off the catcher's mask. I thought that's what I heard. Like, I yeah, like a fan. What's that? So the count quickly emerges to nothing at once, so Lane will get some time to take a couple swings. And the right-hander will dig back in, and the base is empty. Pitch on the way for Quiam is going to get away, and it'll be 1-1. We're like College will give you a player of the game in our post-game show. We're like College, where they have over 100 degree and certificate programs for thousands less. See how you can save big money on your education at rlc.edu. 1-1 one, one the count with one out. Here comes. So I'm going to miss. Good pitch there by Kelby. It's one and two. Just tying that out of her zone. Good little rise ball there. Oh, man. One, two, coming. Brown ball back up. Oh, left side, she stop play and picks it up. Right gives it a stretch, can't come up with it, rushes into the game in right field. Right back up, but it'll allow a runner on second base. First error of the day for Liddy Rams on an errant throw. Had the glove one too many times. I got down the first pretty quick. So we'll see Ashley West bat. See if she stays in the game defensively in the Top of the seventh, which will prove to be the last chance for the Lady Rams. Pretty First Bank has five Jefferson County locations, responsive quality suits for all of your accounts. Pretty First Bank would like to be the first to say, Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC, equal housing lender. So, a 2 nothing ball game, bottom of the sixth inning. Salem trying to get the win here at home. Lady Rams will have one more chance in the seventh and do up. It'll be Garner Lockhart. They lock our spot, Stewart. <laughs> Irritability on the rise. That's yeah. rightfully so. Kind of figured out here. Not why you've got to write a dissertation. <laughs> put a number down, put a number down, let's go. Oh, man. I think we're ready. Yeah. I know I am. Game has been officially certified. Definitely ready. Thanks. Here it comes. 
First pitch will miss high to west. It'll be one to know. Two nothing ball game. Runner on second for the Wildcats here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Well, a beautiful day, though it's overcast. The park here comes. Oops, set the other way. Just pass the glove to the second baseman Lockhart. Rolling back in, and it'll be first and third on the single. Quick single, fourth hit of the day for Sable. <laughs> Well, got it. Yeah, well, in other words, phrase, on. that'll be the phrase of haste tomorrow on the Saturday Sports Show. Third. We got it. Go One out. Pitch across the plate. A great fastball oh. by Kelby. And it's nothing and one to Taylor oh, Jones. Wow. I just took that out of nowhere. I just like saying that. Never get to. Here it comes. It's one to miss. Nothing and two to Jones with the runner taking second. So it's first, or excuse me, second and third. For Salem, bottom of the sixth, two nothing ball game. Two teams meeting for a second time this year. Lady Rams swiped the first four to three back at home on April the twenty second on a Monday afternoon. Next one is going to be a punch out across the inside corner. So backwards strike out puts two outs on the board. Let me explain why we were here three times. Our third time in three years. They played twice. Well, I don't think we came last year though. I don't know. I think it rained. Here it comes. Lapper in. This one's going to be in the left on the run. Hawks can't come up with it. One run will score. Here comes West. Throw at the plate is going to be. Looks like a thought. Yeah, it was. Thought we cut off at first. Won't matter because it'll be four to nothing. Salem. Now that's an E seven. That ball was catch ball right off the mid. Salem's got their third run of the game. On the second not running there. Actually, not third. They're fourth. Uh, the game two came in that time. This one's going to be ripped to third base as standing in was Mallory Daniels. So 5 3 will retire the Salem order here in the sixth, but they add two more. It'll be 4 to 3, 4 nothing left, <laughs> Cats. This is Lady Rams Softball from WIX Sports. Southern Illinois now has a better home for sports. It's the all-new WMIXSports.com. Jam-packed with local scores, video highlights, and archives of every local sports broadcast on WMIX. Did your team win? Missed that game-winning shot last night? Didn't catch your favorite coach on the Saturday sports show? WMIXSports.com is right at your fingertips. On your computer, your smartphone, your tablet, or your video game console. It's the all-new WMIXSports.com. Another free service from Winners Broadcasting. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank, asking why you bank with Community First Bank. Is it knowing your deposits are also vital to home loans in Jefferson County and our local economy? Is it having your choice of convenient locations and ATMs? Is it seeing a staff of friendly faces you recognize as your neighbors? These are all reasons enough to count, though you only need one, and we are honored you chose us. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDSA. Find us on Facebook under WMIX Sports. Back to the Lady Rams on WMIX. And welcome you back to Salem as we enter the last chance to put the Lady Rams. They trail the Wildcats four to nothing. It'll be up to Mallory Groner, Haley Lockhart, and Alexis Stewart's spot. Possibly occupied by Makaya Rush here in the top of the seventh inning. Four nothing, Salem on top. Of course, four runs, three hits, one error, five left on base. The Rams defense has two errors on the day. First pitch on the way from Daniels to Garner is going to miss slow for 1 0. Community First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of Rams and Lady Rams Athletics. For personal banking, see Bria Ashby or Debbie Ashby in Malvern at Community First Bank. Find out more at ComfortsBank.net. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Here comes the 1 0 pitch across the outside corner of the right hander, 1 1. Of course, the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square and King City Chrysler. Schedule your service appointments online at FordSquare.com or KingCityChrysler.com. Soft tap, ground ball to third, not a problem for Lane, and 5-3 is your first down. Well, I understand we have a scoreboard update for Madison County. Scoreless, Triad and Edwards, I'm not Clinton, Triad and Edwardsville scoreless after five in baseball. Scoreboard updates powered by Tony Welch, State Farm Insurance. Tony would love to help you out with all of your insurance needs. Find him in his office at corner 42nd South Water Tower. Online at TonyWelch.com where you never know where that white State Farm Chief might be lurking. Get to a better state with State Farm. One out, nobody on for Haley, and she'll take a first pitch low, 1 0. She walked her last time. Hard ground out to third, her first time up. Trying to keep it going for the Lady Rams with one out. Nobody on here, trailing 4 to nothing. Last chance, top half of the seventh inning. Daniels gets set looking for the win. That's going to be a pitch that catches the plate. One ball, one strike. Of course, 
They open it all white with some green lettering, red numerics. Many Rams in their black, of course, with orange numerics and orange lettering trimmed in white, black pants. Orange socks, they're wearing white pants with a red stripe and green socks, be that as it may. As we wait the 2 1, the lock card is going to miss low and away for 3 1. Need base runners to be selected here in this case. Down your final two out. 3 1 hitters count for lock card with one out of the base is empty. Hard hit ground ball right back to Daniels, the pitcher. Fires over to first for your second out. Well, okay. Oh, man. Twitter versus the Blaze. You can follow us there at my Sports, that too. Here comes the first pitch to Stuart Ramsford. What is blazing? I don't know. Mine, not ours. Oh. I always forget what you count them on. I have too many on my phone for all of our stations. 1 0 count them. This is across inside, 2-0 with Rachel right on deck for Bloody Rams. Last chance, 7-2 outs, nobody on, trailing 4 to nothing. Wildcats looking for their 11th win on the year. Here comes. 3-0. That's a pitch that missed high. Of course, Bloody Rams back in action on Tuesday at the Heron Regional. We'll have that game for you. It's old battle for Arbonneau, the number one seed. 3-0, but gets a strike. Three balls, one strike, two outs. Lady Rams need a lot to happen in short order to keep this one going. Here in the seventh, it's 4 nothing Salem. This one could be a blooper in the center. Picked up by the center fielder. Actually, it's not. Has some trouble with it. That'll be a single for Stewart. Seventh hit of the day for Lady Rams. is still alive at this point. That'll bring in Rachel Wright, who narrowly missed. A home run to left center her last time up. It would have made it 3-1 to one at the time. How different would it be if it was 4-3 instead of 4-0? Dying run still well into the dugout with two outs. It's going to be a pitch high. Stuart will freeze coming off the bag, and it's a 1 0 count here to right. Of course, you know the Lady Rams softball is powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to personal banking. The 1 0 coming. It's going to miss to not by much. 2 0. They throw back down behind the runner at first for good measure. Kind of interesting. I wouldn't be throwing the ball around a four run lead. Oops, don't give the extra bases. The 2 0. It'll be low and in, 3-0 to right. Play jumping around, you're taking here. Maybe take two. 3-0 coming. Catches the plate for 3-1. and one. It was right across. Good pitch by Daniels to come back. Runner on first, two outs, top of the seventh. Last chance, Lady Rams. Trailing 4 to nothing to Salem here on the road. Is this one's going to get away on ball four? Stewart will be held up at second base. Not going to take too many chances. It'll be first and second on nope. the two-out walk. Those two runs out there mean nothing. Unless you get picked off. So you roll back around to the top of the order page. Clinton, of course, is two of three. Single and a double. Ground out to third on a hard hit baller last time. That was a line out to third and a double play, 5-3. Here comes. First pitch low and inside for ball one. Forgot about that. That was a hard mashed ball down to third. Lane just having to make a spectacular play to grab it out of the air. And doubled off the first base runner. 1 0, Calvin. Go to miss high to Clint. 2 0. So you're rolling back around and it's not part of the order you want here. It'll be difficult with two outs trailing by four, but the 2 0 pitch comes. It's low. It's 3 0. That was low and inside. Got dirty. We're on the Twitterverse at WMIX Sports. We'll have a scoreboard tonight at WMIXSports.com. And of course, Saturday Sports Show tomorrow. Rio coming across the plate. It's 3 1. Of course, when the pressure's off on 3 0, you know you're going to get it across the plate. It seems that. Yeah, it makes it a little easier. Yeah. Now a strike on the outside corner works to count full. So, William Rams down to their final strike. Here with Paige Clint. Two on and two out, trailing 4 to nothing. But the senior shortstop does have three home runs on the year. And this one will be sent just underneath the glove of the second baseman. One run is going to be waved in. Here comes the play at the plate. The throw is on the line, and she is safe. Runner from second will head to third, and Paige Clinton will head into second. So the Lady Rams get a run across. The tying run is Kelsey Quiava coming to the plate. Eagle and RBI, or Lady Rams get on the board. That was just underneath the glove of the second baseman, Rusher. The second Aaron Clinton, Clinton, and the third went Stewart. Well, the runners to the right. Around. Stewart came around to score. Mm-hmm. Wow. 
error allowed the runner to move around the second. Yep. So time will be called, and they will talk about things here. Of course, this time out is brought to you by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon, where customer service is their top priority. 10.45 pregame tomorrow morning. Alfred and Rams and the Highland Bulldogs will have both for you. On WMAX, we'll keep you abreast of all of the scores from around the area during those two games. There's some regional championships going on in Classes 1A and 2A, both baseball and softball. Class 1 and Class 2, they call it down there, and they really play good sports. Ducky? Missouri? Uh, yeah. Who do you feel? I like the A. I like the extra letter. Yeah. As extraneous as it may or may not be. As it's 1-0 to Kelp. Took the ball low. Tying run at the point, 4-1 ball game. Top of the seventh, the group's join us. Two outs, two aboard. Daniels gets set, pitch on the way to Cuyahoga. Will this high, 2-0. Oh. Plate jumping around here, and Mount Vernon tying run at the plate. Next one. Looks like it might have caught the outside corner. And it's two balls and a strike. Don't forget, follow us on Twitter. Find us on Facebook. We are at WMI Exports in both locations. The 2-1 on its way. We have going to send this one to third. Lane will sit back on it, makes the throw across the diamond, and that will retire the side. As Salem picks up their 11th win on a 4-1 victory over the Lady Rams. We'll tell you all about it. Next Schmidt Chevrolet postgame show, 34-23 Broadway in Mount Vernon, or view their inventory online at SchmidtChevrolet.com. 4-1, your final. We'll talk about it when we come back. This is Lady Rams softball, powered by Community First Bank. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins. You did it. It's graduation day, and you've got that feeling beyond compare. From kindergarten to graduation, your day-to-day efforts have been your first long-term investment. Community First Bank extends congratulations along with a promise. In the coming year, we will increase our community scholarship dollars to encourage graduation goals across Jefferson County and further invest in our community. Like us on Facebook to learn more. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC. Fuel economy could not be more affordable. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Ford dealer, Ford Square, Mount Vernon. The 2013 Ford Fiesta and Ford Focus are a dynamic duel of high miles per gallon. Right now, you will find a Ford Fiesta four-door with an automatic transmission ready to get you 39 miles per gallon highway and for less than $15,000 plus tax, title, and license. Your pocketbook wins twice, saving out the door and at the pump. Wow. Or how about 38 miles per gallon in a four-door 2013 Ford Focus? Drive away in the Ford Focus for $16,435 when you finance through Ford Motor Credit. Saving at the pump doesn't have to come at a premium. Browse our inventory at FordSquare.com or come see one of our associates at Ford Square Mount Vernon, 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois. What does technology sound like? Is it the clang of heavy machinery, the beeps and chirps of an electronic gadget? At the New Good Samaritan Regional Health Center, technology sounds a little something like this. It's the sound of a young girl excited because her mom's being released the same day as her minimally invasive surgery. Thanks to the Da Vinci Surgical Robot, our surgeon's hand motions are seamlessly translated into smaller, more precise movements. But surgery isn't the only way Good Samaritan is raising the bar for advanced health care in Southern Illinois. That's the sound of a patient's health record being updated and stored electronically for immediate access by nurses, primary care doctors, and specialists alike. That's why soon, the new Good Samaritan Regional Health Center will use all electronic patient health records. Less paper translates to faster, better care for you. And that sounds a little something like this. The new Good Samaritan Regional Health Center, raising a hospital raising the bar. Southern Illinois now has a better home for sports. It's the all-new WMIXSports.com. Jam-packed with local scores, video highlights, and archives of every local sports broadcast on WMIX. Did your team win? Miss that game-winning shot last night? Didn't catch your favorite coach on the Saturday sports show? WMIXSports.com is right at your fingertips. On your computer, your smartphone, your tablet, or your video game console. It's the all-new WMIXSports.com. Another free service from Withers Broadcast this is Lady Ram Softball on WMIX, the Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show. Starts now. And we welcome you back to Salem. I'm Chris Hugo with Danny Jawinski alongside at your Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon for new and pre-owned or even collision repair. See more at SchmidtChevrolet.com. And, of course, 
Alicia Sheldon back in her mouth in the studio, wrapping up this Lady Ram. Unfortunately, lost to the Salem Lady Cats 4-1. to one. Not quite the way I think the Lady Rams saw this going. Maybe eyes of a sweep here after a 4-3 victory over the Wildcats back in April. Yeah, and it's, it happens. And Salem gets to split here on senior day, not wanting to lose. And it's a good job of hitting the ball. I think one thing, Mount Vernon had some base running issues today. Cost him two, three, couple chances of runs. But uh, overall, it's a tough loss. There's one probably Mount Vernon thought they could get. Thought they could get, but did not, unfortunately. We need to know about those Heartland County postgame stats. Start right, let Heartland County help make your business a success. Heartland County, 3000 Broadway, Suite 2B. That's Heartland County, your small business expert. Four, Mount Vernon, one run, eight hits, two errors. Salem, four runs, four hits, three errors. Winning pitcher Mallory Daniels. Losing pitcher Casey Little in a game that took an hour and 17 minutes. Mount Vernon loses here at Salem today by a score of 4-1. to one. We're to one year final, of course. Didn't take very long. Got it in quickly. Of course, some rains in the forecast overnight. Thankfully, we got this one in. And we'll come back and get you a my college player of the game. This is your Spitzer Relay Post Game Show. We'll take a break. 4 1 your final. Lady Rams finish the regular season at 11 and 15. Salem, now 11 and 20. This is Lady Rams softball from WMIX Sports. I'm Michael Stack with a look at your next round weather. Mainly cloudy and not as warm with a few showers and even a thunderstorm from the afternoon into the evening hours. This afternoon's high 73. Mostly cloudy skies late tonight, the low 61. A bit warmer with clouds mixing in with some sunshine, a shower or thunderstorm in a few spots high 82. Saturday, very warm and humid Sunday with clouds mixing in with some sunshine high 89. Next rad weather from WMIX, Mount Vernon, Illinois. Don't just dream about a better job. Go get it with scores of programs that take two years, one year, or even just a few months to complete. Red Lake College is your gateway to a career you'll love. From nursing to coal mining, from computer programming to cosmetology, and everything in between. Rend Lake College is affordable, convenient, and ready to get you trained for your new job fast. Call us at 618-437-5321 or visit us at rlc.ed. Back to the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios. This is Lady Ram Softball on WMIX. And we welcome you back to WMIX, WMIXSports.com. To wrap up your Schmitz Relay Post postgame show, and of course, we owe you a Red Lake College player of the game. As the Lady Rams conclude the regular season with a tough loss on the road here at Salem, 4-1. to one. And it's pretty evident who our player of the game was today. Just a great effort all throughout. Lexa Stewart had two singles and a run scored. Big day for her in the lower part of the order. There you go. We're in Lake College. We're going to save thousands of your college education. Log on to rlc.edu to see which of the more than 100 degree and certificate programs is right for you. For everyone at WMIX Sports, thank you for listening to Lady Rams Softball. For Danny Zerwinski, for Alicia Sheldon, for Avery Barton, for all of those and more. On behalf of our sponsors... Remind you the final score. The Mount Vernon Lady Rams fall here to Salem by a final of 4-1. to one. Tomorrow, it's Mount Vernon Rams baseball. The Highland Bulldogs come to town at 10.45 with your pregame. 11 o'clock, your first pitch in the doubleheader. For that, Saturday sports show right here on AM 940 and WMIXSports.com following your 8 o'clock news. We'll talk with Tim Holloway about his Rams effort, getting their 25th win for yet another season. We'll talk with Lance Bolt about today and the successes the Lady Rams have had this week with wins against Effingham and Mascuda and the loss of Centralia thrown in there as well. We'll talk about regional championship matchups between Weber and Wayne City, or, or excuse me, between Wayne City and Woodlawn on the softball side. We will talk with Joe Bernard. We will talk with Matt Patterson. We will also talk the baseball side where it is Weber Township, of course, with Sam Bird. We'll also have Mike Kerr on the Woodlawn side to talk about as well. Plus track talk, tennis talk, all of that to come tomorrow morning on the Saturday Sports Show, of course, brought to you by Crossroads Pretty Hospital. All of that said, Chris Hugo reminds me the final score one more time. Salem four, the Lady Rams one. So long for Marion County. Thank you for listening to Mount Vernon Lady Rams Softball on WMIX and online at WMIXSports.com. Lady Rams Softball has been presented by the official voice of the Lady Rams, Community First Bank. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Lady Rams Softball on WMIX is also sponsored in part by Ren Lake College. See how you can save thousands on your education at rlc.edu. The Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon, Ford Square and King City Chrysler. You can count on us. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto, Good Samaritan Regional Health Center, Raising a Hospital, Raising the Bar, Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon, and also by the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois, Sarah Staley, your country financial agent, Heartland Accounting, and by Central Christian Church.
Your home for news, talk, sports, and America's best music, WMIX. Find archived broadcasts of Rams baseball at WMIXSports.com.